What is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad and MPL fans alike? My name is Dan, head coach of your St. Louis Sableyes in the MPL Season 2. And this is week 4 team builder, you know, team builders that we always do. And these will go up only if I've had my battle with my opponent, so uh, they can't snipe my sets, etc. So what we have here today... Let me, uh, first of all, I'm just going to get a uh, Jordy uh, team because we are facing off against the Leeds Rhyhorns this week, head coached by Jordy LDR, and of course this link will be in the description, you guys can go check him out. He will of course also have a live perspective of the battle tomorrow because, um, well, he has a character card that works functionally and everything, so that's cool, but um, Jordy has access to Mega Manetric, Gyarados, Infernape, Flygon, Latios, Tentacruel, Sylveon, Ferrothorn, Honchkrow, Claydol, and Miltank. So that is Jordy's squad, and of course, if you guys have paid attention so far, we have access to Tornadus, Therian, Magnezo, Mega Medicham, Zoroark, Chestnut, Gudra, Nidoqueen, Blastoise, Cresselia, Armaldo, and Kofagrigius. And a little note, a little note for you guys, as of week 5, so next week, we will no longer be able to use Chestnut, as Chestnut has been dropped for Rhydon uh, due to free agency. But uh, that is um, all those disclaimers out of the way. So without further ado, let's just jump into this uh, team analysis slash team builder video, shall we? So first up today, we are trying something a bit different because one thing I noticed from Jordy's team, it's, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. And my team is mediocre slow, so if I can get... Um, if I can get around Sylveon and Ferrothorn, Trick Room can work really well against them. So what I have here today is a Spadef uh, Crest to take on mons like Mega Manetric, uh, spe especially Ape. Uh, it can take on Latios. It can take on Tentacruel. It can take on. It can actually really take on. Uh, it can take on Miltank pretty well, decently well. It can also take hits from Sylveon pretty decently actually, like seeing here. Hyper Voice from a Specs a modest Sylveon. I'm pretty sure I made it modest. Let me double check. Uh, for my specs modest uh, max special attack, Sylveon only does 46% uh, or at the max roll, so 30 to 46%, uh, which is incredible. So, Crest here is to take hits Trick Room, Moonlight, Ice Beam, and Psy Shock. I felt like that was the most general coverage that I could get. I hit Tentacruel for super effective, I hit Flygon, I hit uh, Infernape, I hit uh, Tentacruel, I hit the Haunch Crow. I hit the uh, Claydol. I hit a lot of things for good damage, and I also can 1v1 Mega Manetric, which is uh, interesting, So, or it's actually pretty good. So that is uh, Cresselia this week. Uh, satellite, uh, shout out to you, with Trick Room and like Ice Beam, Psy Shock, Max Bidu. Uh Next up, we have Ultima the Kofa Gregius. Now, this is supposed to be one of my main checks to the um, Honchkrow, because Honchkrow can do uh, with... At normal, Sucker Punch does 50%, Night Slash does 43% at a max roll, and Brave Bird does 73.9% to a Kofag. So I have Shockwave, which does um, 49 to 58.9% in case he wants to bring something like a Sub Crow or anything like that, I can still hit it. Will O Wisp, I can burn it. Trick Room to go faster, and Destiny Bond to like if I'm low and I can Destiny Bond it and shut it down. So that is Kofag. Um, He's running max special attack, uh, quiet with no speed IVs, of course, because Trick Room, uh, which is really nice because then I can outspeed a majority of his team. Um, the only thing I can outspeed or outslow is Ferrothorn because Pharaoh is base 20 speed, I think. Uh, yeah, it ba is base 20, and I think at its lowest, level 50, it reaches like 22, uh, 22 in speed stat, and I reach uh, 31, so you know. But, except for that, I should outspeed everything in Trick Room. I can Devon, I can Willow, whatever. Uh, one, like, the two main mods that I can sh shut down with Kofag due to, um, Destiny Bond is, uh, mainly for the, uh, Honchkrow and the Sylveon. Those are the two Pokemon that I'm most worried about when it comes to against Kofagrigus. Now, next up, we have Siddhartha, which is our Mega Metacham. Now, this is the first appearance of... Uh, this Mega Metacham, which is the uh, male one and with a new nickname, because I think last time we brought it, that was the first and last appearance of Titlegs. And uh, this one's racking out a pretty standard set with Fake Out, Bullet Punch, Drain Punch, and Zen Headbutt. Now, the spread we have here is we're Max Attack Adamant because we don't need to be uh, Jolly, because there's no point in being Jolly because we speed tie with uh, Flygon and 
other things and I don't want to risk speed ties anyway so it's no point I don't have anything specific to hit flag on uh, and his main attackers already that I expect him to bring like the team I expect him to bring is already slower or f like it's all either Im like really much fa like it's much faster so bringing Jolly won't help or it's so much slower that Jolly's pointless so I'm bringing Adamant with uh, max attack it has 212 speed because at mega stage it outspeeds a Gyarados which is max speed uh, I speed crept that and uh, the last 44 I just kind of dished into HP and it's also even number eight, or odd number HP so stealth rocks and spikes etc so that is Mega Mid Champ. I fake out and bullet punch. Oh, fake a bullet punch for priority and free Mega Evolution. Drain Punch does a lot to a majority of his team. Uh, like Drain Punch can Oko uh, Crow. It can do. Let's see. If I'm a neutral, if I like, if I come in on the Mega Manetric, I can Oko um, Mega Manetric with Drain Punch. Even though Zen Headbutt guarantee takes care of it. Um, Drain Punch and Zen Headbutt take care of the Ape, and Ape can't Oko me. Um, Ladias, I can't really do the most to. Like, the most I can do is 43% uh, once then headbutt, but that's still a lot. Drain Punch is super close to taking out Meltank, so with a pr little bit of prior fake out damage or bullet punch or whatever, I can take it out. And Zen Headbutt has a chance to Oko Sylveon if it's the Specs variant, of course. So that is Mega Metacham, the powerhouse of this week. Next up, we have Fortissimo, which is relying a bit on. Um, which is relying a bit on. Um, Trick Room this week. We're gonna get up the rocks. That's gonna be uh, its main purpose. Then, uh, looking at the calcs against a Haunch Crow, Rock Blast can do up to 222%, but it's absolute minimal roll. If we hit twice and they're both low, it's 75.3%. Now, against Mega Manetric, if we come in on it, we can Oko it with EQ, it's guaranteed. Uh, Ape is a guaranteed Oko with EQ. Because of the insect plate, X Scissor is a guaranteed Oko against Sylveon, or not Sylveon, uh, Latios, in case like he ranks that. I've looked, like I'm mainly focusing on. I have Sweeper Calc on the side, so I can look over to the team that I'm expecting him to bring with like sets and stuff. So I'm expecting kind of like a defensive um, Latios of some variant, like Spadef. And uh, if it's Spadef, I can Oko it. If it's Max HP, no defense, I can Oko it with X Scissor, which is uh, really nice. Uh, then uh, against Miltank, uh, I can't really do a lot. The highest damage output I have is uh, 51.9 with Rock Blast if I hit all five, and X Scissor is guaranteed 30 to 36.1 percent. Now uh, against Sylveon, it can be a two hit KO, but it's probably going to be three hit KO, knowing me well. And Hyper Voice is obliterating Armaldo, so that's not an ideal matchup. But we're running Max Attack. Um, we're running max attack, max defense, uh, four in speed or four in HP, and a brave nature to lower our speed in trick group. So uh, that is Armaldo. Uh, that is indeed Armaldo this week. Now next up we have Maria the Queen. Uh, she did really well against Eric last week, getting uh, three kills. I think it was it got three kills. I'm pretty sure because it was uh, who was it? It was um, Machamp. Fuck Machamp. Uh, it was, um, no, it wasn't Raikou, that was Chesnaw who did. It was, um, Heatran, I remember. Oh, shit, sorry. It was, uh, Heatran, and who else was it? Who else was it? It was, uh, I think it was Gator. Yeah, Thunderbolt against Gator. That sounds, that sounds right. So, she's coming back this week with Flamethrower, mainly for Ferrothorn, uh, but as well as, like, being able to do some general damage to the rest of his team. Uh, we have Sludge Wave for Sylveon, mainly. We have Thunderbolt because I really just like he has Gyarados, he has Crow, he has uh, a couple different mods like that, and Earth Power is like our final move for um, Mega Manetric, um, Ape. Uh, it also does some mean damage to mods like Miltank and stuff. Hold on, what's this? Uh, so that is um, Nina Queen is a max speed. Max special attack, timid, um, Nido Queen, and that is because um, if I have outside of Trick Room, I need some power as well. That's why also Medicham is outspeeding a uh, Gyarados, not outslowing it. So um, that is the point of this uh, squad right here with uh, Maria. That's the plot with its set. It's supposed to be a um, outside of Trick Room attacker. 
And uh, last but not least, we have the return of the officer. The officer is back in the building and ready to uh, catch some criminals. Officer Orgy Choice Specs Magnet Pole because fuck Ferrothorn. That's my main issue, or that's one thing that I'm a bit afraid of as well, is uh, Ferrothorn. That's why we have Choice Specs Magnet Pole with HP Fire, as well as having Volt Switch, Flash Cannon, and Thunderbolt. Pretty standard set for Magnezone, but I feel like it, it works really well this week. One thing I am a bit afraid of, though, is if he brings Choice Specs Hidden Power Ground Sylveon, because I can I have a chance to Oko, but it's not guaranteed to take out Sylveon, so I need prior damage. And HP Ground, of course, is going to obliterate a Magnezone, <laughs> like, <laughs> not even a question. I'm a bit scared of Ape, because Ape can really hurt me, it can Oko me with Flare Blitz. Um, Mega Manetric, I'm not necessarily too afraid of, but I'm still a bit. And uh, Haunch Crow has a chance to KO me with Superpower, which sucks. But um, that's the main plan with uh, Magnezone, and I'm hoping that the game will go smoothly tomorrow, and that we can try to scoop up a W after last week's L versus Eric and the Sacramento Kingdras. Let's pick it up against the Leeds Ryans here and show them that we are still in this. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this team build. If you're hyped for tomorrow's game, then make sure to destroy that like button down below as your support is greatly appreciated. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. See you guys tomorrow with the NPL Week 4 versus Leeds Ryan Horn game. Peace out.